how to upload files using FileZilla software program. In this video session, I'm going to show you how you can use FileZilla to connect using FTP protocol, as in file transfer protocol. Simply download FileZilla client to your local computer and install it. Next, I'll quickly show you how to create FTP credentials using cPanel. All web hosting companies will give you an option to create FTP accounts. Through your cPanel, you have FTP accounts. Press on that. Here, provide the login details as in the username, your name, perhaps, or it can be anything. And make sure the password is highly complex. Even the generated one here, I tend to think they are not complex. So adding more complex passwords and copy it in a safe place is in your best interest. Also, the directory here, you can actually remove everything that it generates and have direct access to your home directory. Now, if you're creating an FTP account for a web developer and so on, then perhaps you can limit the quota. But for yourself, obviously, unlimited is good enough. Then press on create FTP account. When you do that, you can press on Configure FTP Client and here is your login details in terms of the FTP server. Yeah. Then, simply open up FileZilla program from your local computer that you've installed. Then press on File site manager here you need to add a new site name it anything that you want example site in this example then on the panel here provide the host name in our example it's this so we can copy that and paste it in there Server port in our example is 21. And depending on your web server, sometimes it'll tell you how to set it up here. As in FTP and explicit FT, FTPS. Or, as I've said, depending on your server type, you may have access to secure FTP. If that's the case, usual port number is 22 for that. Okay, so we'll keep this tutorial simple and just use FTP. Let's say FTP dot and the domain name. Also, while here, do keep in mind that depending on your setup, you can at times use IP addresses to log in. So if you have issues connecting to your web server, Perhaps you want to test the IP address instead. Then we have logon type. You can leave it at normal, but you have different options here. Because it's your local computer, you want to make the connection easy. Then your username and password. As in your username. And then password that you've generated. Here you can actually set the background color. Perhaps if you're logging into many different websites, uh, grouping them into color themes may be ideal. Then once you finish the setup in terms of credentials, press OK. Or from here you can actually connect as well. But you want to save the credentials, so you want to press OK. Then 
then from here you can always log in or you can go back to site manager and log in from the site manager as well so i'll log in from here to a sample site now we're logged in it's a typical wordpress installation i'll show you a couple of tips and tricks while here because you're working on the website to upload files at times you know uploading to a particular folder is ideal so instead of trying to find that folder here what you can do is you can add book bookmarks site specific bookmark select the local directory from your computer let's say a themes folder for typical wordpress i can say okay local folder should be this and remote directory should be this and i can press ok surely i need to add a name let's say theme and ok that's already there let's do this now from here i can always access directly into that folder so that's definitely going to be helpful also if you're managing websites then using filezilla program you can press on server and search remote files so this can be of help perhaps you want to locate a particular file so file name contains or equals to and then search the directory as in your home directory or a particular directory okay and then press search and it'll go ahead and search the directory according to your um, settings here so then i'll show you a couple of other tips and tricks let's imagine you want to download the entire folder you can right click press download or from your local computer you can right click and upload so this side here is your local computer files and this side is your web server you can upload any files directly or you can upload the folders as well you can download them or even delete them and let's do this let's upload that let's upload that again and it's definitely going to ask you this if you want to make things easy perhaps you want to select always use this action because you know what you're doing let's delete that also you can grab and then upload as such as well you can grab the file or even a folder so you can grab from left or you can grab from right and then download to your local computer so this is how you use to upload as in use filezilla to upload files folders anything that you want to your web server for more easy to understand tutorials as well as tips definitely check out rank your youtube channel